I just hit my first flat bar muscle up. So I want to talk about the process and it's coming from the perspective of not an exercise guru, but just like a normal guy. Rich and I had been training to hit this for at least a year. It took a whole year of training to get the flat bar muscle up. So the first thing I would say is that the type of bar that you're training on is very important. So there's different kinds of bars you'll encounter in the gym, the flat bar, okay? And then sometimes you'll find two sort of like uh, hand grip bars that's equivalent almost to a flat bar, but not. And then there's also just like, the, you'll see the standard pull-up bars where the pull-ups are like antlers coming out different directions. So in the gym, you'll see three different bars. What we learn in the process is that it's much easier to do a muscle up on a bar system where there's nothing in between because it's easier to get your chest over. If you're doing the flat bar, you have to go out and around and that's a harder development. It takes longer to hit that than it does to hit the muscle up where there's nothing in between the bar because you can get your chest through it. So it's easier to at least get some muscle ups on those. The downside of trading on the wrong incorrect bars is that I think you actually have to train the actual exercise. The hand grip is very important and getting the swing right is very important. So I think if you're not training on the flat bar, you're not doing the right system. And I think that set us back probably six months because we learned first how to hit the muscle up on the wrong bar. And I think that trained a subtly wrong set of muscles. Cause what we realized is that we could hit muscle ups on the other bar systems, but we could not hit flat bar, flat bar muscle ups. Both Rich and I could do that. And there were, I mean, we had, we were very strong. We were, we had trained to the point where we could do like 27 muscle ups on a different bar setup, but we could not do a single flat bar muscle up. So the one thing that we learned is that you have to train on the flat bar. It's harder, but you will not, you will not achieve it unless you actually train on the flat bar. So I think you start, I think you start trying to do muscle ups on flat bar, not on the other bar systems. So some other important things to mention is that the grip is very important. So you do not want to train doing pull-ups on your fingers. So don't, don't do a grip like this. Okay. Where you're gripping the bar on your fingers. I actually got injured doing that. So I trained to the point where I could do a hundred pull-ups uh with this kind of finger and i actually pulled the the some kind of a tendon that's attached to my finger and my elbow through my arm so i actually got injured doing that so i think it's it's a little bit more dangerous to train grips on your fingers the way that they said and and how i actually ended up hitting the muscle up is by doing a real monkey grip over the bar so a monkey grip is where you're this is from jujitsu where you're you're putting your hands around right and so you should actually start to get calluses. You should start to get calluses on your palms, inside of your hands, not on your, just on your fingers. So that is very important. And grip strength training is very important to be able to hold the bar in that monkey grip formation strong enough where you can really like torque it. The other aspect that's very important is I was training for a while, kind of holding the grip like this, thinking that if, if um, with, with my elbows at a bend, thinking that if I could get closer to be over the bar, it would be an easier, easier lift. That's the incorrect thinking. When I actually hit it, when we all actually hit it, okay, we would, we, we were hanging at full length all the way down from the bar so that we could really kip up and get momentum to come up the bar. So you can't hit it with your elbow like this. The first time you're gonna hit it is with stretched arms where you get the momentum. So the other thing that's really important is chalk, hand chalk. It's much easier to get the muscle up if you're using chalk because what's really important is the grip strength aspect of it. When you hit it, you'll actually feel that you're actually using some of your wrist actually uh, to, get, to get enough momentum. And so really just really like closing your fingers on the bar with solid grip and the way to get solid grip is with the chalk. That is very important to being able to hold it in a way that you can torque it. So we trained about four basic exercises and we would do everything we would do, we'd do three sets. Uh, the first exercise is just simply attempting the muscle up. I had to attempt thousands and thousands of flat bar muscle ups before I could get one, maybe not thousands, hundreds at least. So you need to train the actual, like the actual thing, right? 
even if you can't get it, you still attempt all the time. The other things that we would do is after we'd make our attempts, so that was always the first part of the exercise, make the attempt. Then we would do explosive pull-ups. So in this case, you're trying to pull yourself above the bar as high as you can go. You're trying to launch yourself above the bar, let go of the bar, and then force yourself to grab, grab on. Then we would do weighted pull-ups. And there were periods where we were training with 45s and there were periods where we were training with 25s. So we're hitting like probably like three to five reps of weighted pull-ups. So we do three sets of the explosive pull-ups, then three sets of the weighted pull-ups, then we would do normal pull-ups, three sets of normal pull-ups. So you're just essentially like blowing yourself out at the attempts of the muscle-up, blowing yourself out at the explosive pull-ups, blowing yourself out doing as many of the weighted pull-ups, blowing yourself out doing normal pull-ups. And then the last thing that we do is we set the bar at kind of like an angle and we do kind of like a half pull-up where you put, touch your chin or your nose to the bar. And then we would sort of like wrap up the exercise with three sets of those. And we did that for it literally uh, like a whole year. It took me a whole year. And then what you'll realize is as you're training, it's much harder to gain the muscles to be able to lift your body than it is to lose weight to be able to have better control of your body. So the other thing that we learned is again, we train, 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 and could not get a muscle up. And then at some point we decided, okay, we just weigh too much and we need to do cuts. I would cut myself down, um, and that I would fast and I would not drink water so that each week I could set the minimum weight. I could get two pounds below my minimum weight. So I'm pushing like the minimum weight down each week, week by week by week. And the first time I hit a muscle up, I had to get down to 183. Once I hit 183, then I could do a muscle up. So it was a real deep cut to hit that first one. And that was not even on the flat bar. That was on the wrong hand systems. And then we went through a bulking phase and then we had to do essentially like another cut for me to hit the recent flat bar muscle up. I had to do cuts three week or for four to five weeks consecutively losing two pounds each week because I was floating around at like 215, 220. And so I did a bunch of cuts until right when I hit about 200, that's when I could hit the muscle up. So again, you, it's, it's this weird balance where you're trying to get muscle, you're trying to gain muscle, but if you weigh too much, you can't control your body. And so then you have to do the cuts of your weight to get down to the point where you're light enough where you can actually like move your body. And you'll get to a point where you'll see the muscle up coming. So you'll see the muscle up coming for like three weeks because you'll get just above the bar, but you won't be able to uh, lock out your elbows. And then you'll get to a point where you can get above the bar so much that you can lock your elbows, but you, your momentum takes you back. And you'll train for this and you'll you'll honestly see a progression of like each week you'll get better at it in a little amount and you can increment and you can see that like it's getting closer it's getting closer so that's kind of motivating and then you'll finally in that final cut you'll finally hit a, a point where the your strength outweighs the weight that you weigh and then you'll finally be able to pop over so it's really you can't just train for it you also have to diet for it that was one thing that we learned so I hope this help, This is helpful for you to train to get maybe a muscle up for yourself. This was the first time for me in my entire life. I'm 38, 37, 38. I'm actually 37. And so it took me 37 years, I guess, in theory, to hit the first muscle up. But it took me about a year of training to be able to hit it. All right, I hope that helps.